Virgo. What is the word, Joe? What is going on with you, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Thank you so much for sending love, light, and support on over here to Scorpion Red Tarot. I want to, um, shoot, I don't put my damn decks up. Listen, we got some new deck announcements, new deck announcement, new deck announcements, okay? So, you guys, we got some new flavor over here on the table, okay? We have the Oracle of Visions deck here that we will be using today, all right? We also have, as I told y'all, I'm going to be... You know, doing a lot of readings with playing cards now. So I'm studying cardamancy. So we will be using the Gangsta Ass Alice in Wonderland deck today. And y'all probably already seen me use that. We will also be using the Under the Roses Lenormand deck. I just got this yesterday from my girl, Callie. This is the East versus the West rap quotes playing card deck. I cannot wait to use that. And as well as the Music Genius deck that you guys probably already seen me use that as well. So thank you guys so so much for all of the love and support if these videos resonate if you guys want to send some support to the page like you guys have been doing that is been making it possible for you know me to continue to purchase new decks to study my art and learn and grow um the paypal and the amazon wishlist links they are in the about tab you guys can check out that amazon wishlist and you know if you guys want to send some love over here go ahead because it surprises me all the time because i'm trying to tell you I was not expecting that deck right there and um, I've been using it personally to help me learn cardamancy and I love it I love it I love it especially like each one of the cards has like um, a verse from a hip-hop song and it's like when y'all see it when I use it it's like when you put it all together it tells like such a gangster ass story like I fucking love it so shout out to everyone who's been sending love and light if you want to book a page if you want to book a page if you want to book a reading with Scorpion Red several only thing you need to do is click that about tab on my page there's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Red several and simply book me go ahead and click that what you need to do is book with me then link up with me book and then link so after you book with me directly under my booking link you will see my um, Instagram link go ahead and click that send me a personal message and just say hey reds this is so and so i booked with you on this day and time and we're going to connect there for your video chat reading if you don't have instagram you can easily just download this app it's called google hangouts and you can use my email to connect with me which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again it's scorpionreds at gmail.com send me send me a message and we'll connect there for your reading um if you don't want to get on camera for your reading and if you just want a direct video upload or if you want to record your reading and have um, a, a private copy of your video uploaded to YouTube. Only thing you need to do is purchase the um, add-on, which is called a private upload slash um, video recap. And what you need to do after you book your reading and you link up with me, um, you just say, hey, Reds, I don't want to get on camera, but this is my question. So what you're going to do is send me your question pertaining to the reading that you book. Don't tell me the situation surrounding why you're asking a question. Just make sure that you just tell me what you want to know because I don't want you to say, oh, you know, I just told you that, okay? And then I'm going to record the video in about 24 to 48 hours. You should have your um, upload to YouTube, which is a private link. Um, and we should be good to go from there, okay? So, um, enough of the house announcements, okay? Oh gosh, yes, come on, coffee, come on, coffee, hold on, you guys. Hmm. Yes, honey, mm. that was delicious, honey, let me tell you. All right, I needed that. Now, let's get into this reading. Let's get into this tea. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. Tell us what is the word surrounding us for the month of July 2019. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons on the past, present, and future. Thank you so much for pushing us towards our future. Thank you so much for making it possible for us to spread our wings and make wise decisions and, um, you know, move mountains and, you know, take horse rides and... I don't know, like, I feel like someone's going to an amusement park or they're going in the country or something. They're doing some type of horse riding or something. I don't know why I'm seeing that. <laughs> I just see travel. I see travel. Like, I don't know if y'all are planning vacations or something like that. But anyway, um, 
Father God, thank you so much just putting your hands on Virgo and just like taking our shoulders as they go that way. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for our journey and our path that we're taking. This path of self-discovery, you know, our spiritual just growth and just learning and just walking in this new stage that we're in father god thank you so much for just blessing us in the way that you have and the way that you do and just never giving up on us and just always you know just giving us another opportunity to make things better and yeah and it's just getting better and we just thank you so give us guidance for july thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please continue to touch us and walk through us father god give us guidance for the sign of virgo for july thank you again let's see let's see let's see what's the word honey let's see father god please give us guidance give us day-to-day -day guidance <clears throat> For my Virgos. What do the Virgos need to focus on day to day in the month of July? Oh, okay. Got the entrepreneur. Goddamn, um. I think Leo just got this. What's this Leo? What's this Leo that just got this? No, I think it was Cancer. Entrepreneur. That's what's up. We got a lot of self-employment going on. A lot of people just taking a risk and just doing what their heart is just telling them to do. It's the self-employment suits you and your dis and your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal by your side and ensure your success in all ways. Looks like you guys are lighting a flame and taking a risk and taking a venture on entrepreneurship. You guys are developing businesses. And like I said, you know, in a cancer reading, you know. God is parting this mountain right here to make way a clear pass, passage, safe passage way for you to come through and start your own foundation. And if you look at some people way in the back, you see them back there? There's some people way in the back and they're looking at what you're doing. And I definitely feel like that might be some help coming your way to help you um, like some type of financial assistance, some grants. So if you guys haven't yet reached out or looked to see if there's any grants or, you know, like some new, uh, I was just about to say new home buyer. Shoot, you guys might be trying to buy a home too. What is this, the nine of swords in reverse? Mm-hmm. You guys are letting go of a mental burden, and I think the men mental burden might be some stress at a damn job. Like, you trying to fit in a 9 to 5 thing, and it's just like, man, my attitude don't work with these people or something like that. It's just like, ever you keep getting let go or just something ain't, it's just like a mental burden. And you just tired of it, and it's like you already have your own gifts and your own talents, and it's like, man, look... I'm not going to keep stressing myself and keep thinking about this shit. I'm going to just do what I want to do. What is this? The Prince of Pentacles. And then you got the sun. Yeah. The Prince of Pentacles. Like, this means like some type of news or some information or an announcement or some type of recognition of some sort. And you see music here, like a boom box and all of that stuff like that. And what else is this in here? Something with some type. I feel like this person is like a music engineer or something like that. You guys study music or something. It's like you guys. And your, I mean, it's kind of, and I've seen a lot of words. It's like y'all are rappers. Y'all do music or something. Transcribing. What the hell does that mean? In regards to, I mean, transcribing. It's like. Some of you guys are speak a foreign language or something like that. And, like, 
you guys may be translating and transcribing like some type of information from home or something. And then the sun is just like, I feel like y'all are happier when y'all work from home. Or you could just kind of like sit and relax and listen to your music or something like that. And like work from home. Like it's less stressful. You ain't got to deal with all these personalities. People saying all this dumb ass shit. Like I think, oh, y'all like do medical transcription, me medical transcribing or something like that. I feel like y'all get to do that at home and still work on your music too. It's like, cause like the music thing, I feel like it's going slow, but it's going steady, but you feel good doing this shit. Like, you know, it's like, you're going to find a way to be able to work on your own seven of wands. I feel like you are tired of just like, you just feel like it's just like a lot of bullshit coming at you in all different directions and you're tired of having to defend yourself. I feel like this has something to do with a work situation, most definitely. And I feel like gee, that's why it's like that nine of swords in the reverse. A whole bunch of gossip, a whole bunch of people talking up a whole bunch of negative shit, saying dumb stuff. And you used to come home with all of that shit on your mind about this. You used to bring your job home. Or you're tired of that shit. And I feel like some of you guys with that nine of swords, because of that mental burden that it was putting on you, you guys started to look in research and try to find a different way and I think that's why y'all got into this medical transcribing and it, like I said it, it allows you to make money from home and look you can lounge around you comfortable you be feeling carefree happy you feel all child like you can run around you know what I'm saying wake up in the morning eat whatever the hell you want in your kitchen sit on your little headset be on your little conference calls or take your little call. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like you feel good. <laughs> like you feel good. Like it's just been illuminated to me. Like this is a great idea. Like this is way better. <laughs> like I'm leaving all of that shit behind. I'm about to light this new flame on this shit. I'm not about to be sitting up here listening to a whole bunch of goddamn office caddy drama bullshit or dealing with a whole bunch of goddamn macho man egos people feeling like oh I want to be the boss I want to be the boss too many bosses not enough Indians and I ain't got it to do it's like Virgo is a team player but at the same time I felt like there was a lot of hate because these people were intimidated at you I mean they were intimidated by you and it was just like a whole bunch of hate and it was just like you were the target and it was just like I don't got to deal with you at all because number one, I'm the king of wands. I will whoop your ass. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have to. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm way more action oriented. I'll just figure out something else. And then that's exactly what y'all did with this entrepreneur card right here. You guys most definitely went and made a big ass boss move on somebody. And it's like the money is coming in slow. Like you're not used to it. I feel like you're used to just like you're used to getting a nine to five paycheck and things like that but i feel like things are just going in a different direction because it's just like it was too much drama at whatever job you was at it's like a whole bunch of chaos and confusion and arguing and debating about stuff people not getting along i don't, I don't get up and come out my house to go to no bullshit like that like no like it became too much stress like i don't wake up and get myself ready she shower and she to walk out the door to walk into chaos for nine hours. <laughs> no, no. Be going to lunch, not even be wanting to clock back in and go, but like, oh no. Just like, ugh. Let me guidance for my Virgos. We got three cards here. Let's see what we got. Always, it's always tea time, eternity, endless moments. <laughs> repetition like y'all got tired of the same old shit y'all tired of the same old bullshit so every time you go into work it's the same old bullshit no need to fear remember how powerful you are yes no need to fear remember how powerful you are and then falling in between worlds it says the unknown descent momentum change so basically what this is saying is you guys were it was just listen 
you got you guys got tired of the same shit. You know what I'm saying? And the same shit was conflict, was fussing, was fighting, was competition, was accusals. Like stop you know what I'm saying? People thinking they know you and running their mouth about you having a listen to me. Cause I will kick one of y'all in y'all teeth for real. I'm not about to do all of that. I'm not about to live my life like that. I'm not about to do it. And it seemed like it was always tea time. It was always tea time. It was always some fucking gossip. It was always some fucking drama going on in this office. And you were just like, listen, as much as it pains me and I don't want to do this, it is scary, like, taking a risk, doing some entrepreneur. Like, it's scary because it is taking a big risk. But Spirit is saying, have no fear, baby. Have no fear, baby. Have no fear. Remember how powerful you are and that you can make change in your life if you want to make change. And the only thing is right now is that you just falling into the unknown right now. It's like you're in between worlds with this descent. It's like you're not in the past and you're not in the future. You're like in the middle. You haven't put your feet yet on that ground like you're just like right there. You know what I'm saying? But boom, you gonna hit it. You know what I'm saying? And when you put your feet on that ground, you gonna you gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, have no fear. Like, you made the decisions that you made for a reason. You know? You guys did what was best for you. Oh my God, I love this coffee. I'm so sorry. Mm mm mm. Yes, honey. Grubby. Mm mm. Don't nobody be doing that now. None of the way you be doing that now. None of that in that coffee, girl. Oh, that was um, what was that I put in there? What kind of cream was there? It was like some white mocha almond. Yes, fall. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all know I am about my coffee. Y'all know fall was good. Yes. Do we want to take this? No, I don't want to take this. Let's keep striking. I'm sorry. But I'll clarify this situation is what's going on, what we can expect um, in regards to finances and career. Because it definitely seems like it's finance and career related. Okay, what is this? The Seven of Pentacles. You guys are just waiting. You guys are waiting. I felt like for a long time with this situation, um, you guys tried to paint this situation into something that it wasn't. Because this man is painting roses red. And it's like you were dead meat. You know what I'm saying? Like you see <laughs> you see that crow up there. It's like, oh yeah, this motherfucker gonna get his head cut off. I already know the queen gonna come over here and cut this dumb idiot's head off. I'm just waiting so I can, <laughs> you know, I'm hungry. I, like, it's a dead meat because this nigga's stupid. I feel like somebody in this situation with you guys um, was playing around too much. And you tried to... I feel like you gave this person multiple, multiple, like several chances. You per you gave this person several chances and you tried to um, paint an illusion around this person to try to work with them. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like, you knew that this situation there with this person was DOA. You know, dead on arrival because this person just don't know how to work. You know? And it's like, you... I feel like right now you were just like tired of trying to um, paint this illusion around things, around situations, around people. And um, you were just patiently waiting. You're falling. You're in this descent. You've planted new seeds. You're trying to allow it to grow. And I feel like this is the reflection of what was done you know and hopefully you're not currently you know trying to paint roses red waiting for the results for it to be to you know what i mean like why would you paint i don't know whatever the star yeah knowing your worth having faith having hope trusting your intuition taking a bath in that spiritual pool it looks like you know this is someone that's a little bit curious about these spiritual waters here. And it looks like they dropped their glove and their fan in there. And, and you, you're going to have to go in there and get it. But you should be in that water anyway. It's like you need to take a spiritual bath, a cleansing. Because 
someone tried so much and tried so hard to make a situation be something that it's not just to give it time to grow and trying to put positive effort into a situation and I feel like you end up going for self it's about self worth it's about self worth it's about self worth it's about balance the two of pentacles is about balance you know, finding the things that are meaningful, finding the things that are important, finding the things that are worth your time and worth your effort. I really do feel like if you got to do all of this just to make something look right, it ain't worth your time. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's, it's not worth your time because at the end of the day, people going to see that those are not real red roses. They're going to see that it's fraud. So it's like pay attention that you're not putting your time and your effort and being patient on a fraudulent situation. Hoping and wishing and having balance and trying to figure something out and trying to invest your time equally over here and over here and 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 I just I see I see emotional I see a little emotional dysfunction and the eight the ace of swords this represents like lies confusion manipulation. Um, uncertainty, um, anxiety, uh, unknowing, you know, like, this could even denote, like, aggressive communication, someone using the sword to cut someone out, or not sure if they want to cut something out, you know what I'm saying? It's just like not positive, not accurate thinking, you know. Because you got to look at what's being painted on the picture. What's being painted on the picture is someone painting roses red, painting white roses red. Being patient, waiting. Waiting for their investments to come in, you know. Waiting to harvest their intentions but what you in your intentions is you know what I'm saying the what you you get in what you put out and, and whoever this was like they painted something to be something that it wasn't and waiting for the results to show them something that it's never going to be and then at the end sitting here wondering why things are not the way that I wanted it to be Hmm. Clarify the situation, please. The four diamonds. Oh, oysters, come with us. Walk with us. The walrus did beseech. What the heck did the hell does that mean? Let me see real quick what this four of the diamonds mean. Because I'm taking that as. I'm taking that as like. Someone trying to coerce or convince someone. Giving someone some type of level of recognition. Um, like a promise. Of a foundation, a promise of some type of like material recognition or something like that. Let me see. Yeah, financial stability. It says the four of diamonds represents financial stability, finance, financial papers, rented property, a license, a certificate, a ticket, a bank account, a strong box, a checkbook, a wallet, a jewelry box, an office, a desk, a desk. So, in regards to this situation, it's like, someone trying to make something to be that is not for financial 
stability. You know what I'm saying? Waiting to harvest something out of this. What is this? The Jack of Diamonds. The Jack of Diamonds is someone that is like a young entrepreneur. It says, I'll see you safe to the end of the woods. Yeah. It's like a young entrepreneur, um, a young executive, um, like an accountant, uh, this is someone that deals with like technology, um, like I said, engineers, it could be music engineers, this could, um, this can also be, I mean, like I said, this is a jack, so this represents security as well. So I want to say like this is like um, cyber security or something, like someone does something in cyber security or something like that. But anywho, what I'm getting here is you guys may be getting an offer to like create some type of security type of thing. He said, I'll see you safe to the end of the woods. I'll see you safe to the end of the woods. Whatever you guys were like trying to do, some job situation that you guys were in, you guys were trying to make it be something that it wasn't. You guys were waiting waiting for a promotion waiting for some type of recognition but it's like somehow you lost your fan and you lost your gloves and you found this spiritual pool where you end up having faith and hope and knowing that you can balance and move forward but it's like emotionally you're still a little bit rocky you're not sure and it's like you're lying to yourself you know what i'm saying you're lying to yourself you're just insecure you're just like you don't have all of the information that you need to do what it is that you need to do. You know? So it's like right now you can't see the foundation. You can't see how it's going to work. However, with this four diamonds that denotes, you know, diamonds represents high education, science, psychic ability, work-related and material issues, success, reward, uh, reward outside of the home, recognition, power. You see what I'm saying? So... You guys are going to be given an opportunity to like show your skill and to protect and provide some a level of protection uh, right here. And, and all these diamonds, this is like, this is like work related. It says my name means the shape I'm in and I'm good. In a, in a handsome shape too. This is the Ten of Diamonds. So this is most definitely you guys realizing that I'm safe, I'm secure in regards to my foundations and what I can bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? This is you guys trusting in yourself, knowing that you got new possibilities coming around the corner and like ending chapters and starting something brand new. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, but it's, you know, I guess you guys going to be humping around. Y'all going to be listening. I don't know. <laughs> y'all going to be humping around. Y'all going to y'all going y'all going to run up on something real good, you know what I'm saying? But y'all going to fall something going to fall right nice into your lap. You know what I'm saying? Like something beautiful is about to fall into your lap cuz you're saying that you in good shape. I definitely feel like that's like a career transition. Career transition big time. I want to say securities law. I just heard security law too. Something about security. The two of hearts. Oh, I beg your pardon. And it's like this old situation. It's like you're, you're going to be in a situation now where you're going to have options. You're going to have choices. And, and like it's set up here. It's set up here. It's always tea time. Listen, it was always tea time in that job. A whole bunch of gossip, a bunch of bullshit, a whole bunch of drama. Same repetitive bullshit. Same paycheck. People not understanding your worth. And it's like, you know, I want to do my engineering thing. I want to do my securities law thing. I want to do my, you know, cybersecurity 
databasing, whatever the hell. I don't know what the heck type of shit y'all doing. Y'all do something. It's like very technical, analytical, something that takes a lot of time and someone with a lot of experience and you have it. And that's why spirit is saying, you know, no need to fear. I mean, you guys can even be builders. You know what I'm saying? Because diamonds, that's like mining and stuff. That's, you know, so... And falling, like it's no need to fear. Like every, I feel like everything is really truly going to fall into your lap. Where you're going to have options, you're going to have choices here, and, and, and you're going to look back at this old situation. Cause look, look how she's looking back. Oh, I beg your pardon. You might be like, child, I'm about to leave y'all. Y'all better get the hell on somewhere. What else is this? The seventh of, and it's uh, oh, it says twas grilling, and the slivery. Wait, the Slither Trove Deagle. What the fuck does that mean? See, you know what? That Alice in Wonderland goddamn talk, bitch. I don't know what the hell they over there talking about. What's this saying? If the guy, Okay, first of all, I don't know if this dude, is he licking his tongue out at somebody? What is he doing? Because, you know, seven represents, you know, withdrawal, contemplation, understanding, spiritual analysis, wisdom, knowledge, okay? So, twas brilliant. And the Slivith Trove did great and grimble in the womb. I have no idea what the fuck that means. <laughs> to even, I have no idea what that means at all. But I definitely feel that you guys are going to be looking back and sticking your tongue at something that, you know, to, you're going to have to take a withdrawal from. You're going to have to take a big step back and, you know, Cloves um, represents actual physical work. The diamonds represents the reward from the work. You know? So, it's like I'm getting the recognition that I need. I'm getting the advancements. I'm getting the opportunities. I'm getting the acknowledgement that I need in my field that I don't have nothing to do with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, now I have choices, I have options to where well, I can make my own decisions and I can go on my own path. I can go on my own path. And you looking back, you know, kind of snooty a little bit with, with your nose up in the air. Just be like, listen, I'm getting everything that my heart desires right now. What you're offering me is not enough. Mm -hmm. Can you really pay? Can, can you afford me? I'm a billion dollar man. I'm a billion dollar woman now. Uh huh. I have people trying to buy my product. Yeah, going somewhere. Going somewhere. Na 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 boo boo boo. <laughs> like that is seriously what I'm getting here. So again, let's see, let's let's get into this one more time. Again, the four diamonds means financial stability, financial paperwork, rented property, a license, a certificate, a ticket, a bank account, a strong box, a checkbook, a wallet, a jewelry box, an office, a desk. Okay? So you guys, like I said, you guys may be getting some financial paperwork, you know. You guys may be getting something like, uh, you know, some signed paperwork, like some contracts coming in here. Yeah. The Jack of Diamonds is a young person of either sex, most often a male, intelligent, energetic, dynamic, a student, a relative by marriage, the start of a financial venture, a written message, a message about finances, a financial statement, a check, a receipt, a money transfer. A message from your spirit guide. A place for higher learning. Right? Mm-hmm. And it says, I'll see you safe to the end of the woods. So like I told you, you guys are smart enough. You guys are dynamic. You guys are a student of the arts. You guys are constantly learning. Constantly learning. So you don't have to worry about anything. Because right here is the 10. The satisfaction. Success with money. Financial security. A large sum of money. Material wealth. Riches. Freedom from financial worry. Speed. Fuel. Nuclear energy. Spiritual energy. Flight. An airplane. The wind. It's like going to be a windfall of success for you. I'm trying to tell y'all, you guys are going to get like some type of contract where, or like a grant. And I said grant earlier, like you guys are going to be getting some grant that's going to turn this ace of swords around where you're going to be more sure about what it is that you're doing. I just feel like 
you've never done this before and it's just a big risk that's all and it's just all right the two of hearts represents love affections emotions child pregnancy expectancy a pet emotional exciting excitement talent artistic ability loving exchanges love letters good news like i said you guys are going to get some type of advancement, some type of security, some financial success, something that you're going to love, something that is like a pregnancy, like a new birth, a new chance, you know, excitement, emotional excitement, good news, you know. This is going to be good news where you're going to be turning back at something where it was a whole bunch of pests and rodents behind you and just like, excuse me, what, what you say? No, I'm so fucking lootly not. We won't be doing that today. And then the clubs represents here. Yeah, let's see. The seven of club. Increase in activity or changes in business or social situation. Physical or mental effort including yard work, housework, home repairs, and even fixing the car. Attention to detail. Carefully evaluating the situation before making a decision or taking action. Keeping busy. Risk of work overload, the need to rest and relax, preoccupied with work, the card of a workaholic, negotiations, disagreements and argument or feeling of restlessness or discomfort, taking on too much, making the best of a difficult situation. Okay, so again, at the end, that was the negative aspects that could, you know, denote. Uh, what's going on around these cards however it's a lot of positivity going here and like I said it's a lot of increase like this says rapid full fast pace like things are going to happen fast for you where you're going to know that it's sure you're going to know that you're protected you're going to know that things are going to be successful for you and that you made the best decision that you could possibly have ever made in regards to your career you know and sometimes you got to take a risk on yourself. If you don't take a risk on yourself to see if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if things will work out. Like, you'll always be working for people under their rule, dealing with everyone's ridicule. And you working hard and busting your ass for someone else to take your recognition and underpay you and undervalue you and treat you like shit because they're intimidated by your worth. You know what I'm saying? And trying to paint something to be something different in a situation where you know I could do this shit with my eyes closed by my fucking self. I go start my own fucking business. Fuck y'all. You know? Give me guidance some love. Hmm. Anything pop up? Alright. I look at this as you guys are just like waiting. You guys are thinking, you guys are waiting, you guys are pondering. I believe you guys are looking at in love. It's like some type of it's some type of attachment here. It's like some type of attachment. It's like some type of promise. Some type of level of just like contemplating, thinking about. And I see a lot of red around. So that's like the base chakra, like, you know, the root chakra. Just knowing what I am. Am I protected in this situation? Am I aware of what I'm getting myself into? You know, just being grounded in their thoughts and then, you know. And it's like this person got this picture hanging here and this serp, this snake wrapped around this thing going to this apple. It's like, what am I choosing? What am I getting myself? Like, like you know, let me see. And it's like the sun is shining bright outside, but it's like they're too busy inside their self thinking about what's going on. And they're not, you know what I'm saying? And this girl got a string tied on her finger to this monkey. That's like... An obligation like they're carrying around obligations and I feel like it's just like should I even be should I be doing this should I be you know yeah this is contemplation analysis awareness 
It says, while we share common traits with all other living entities and are indeed linked to them in so many ways, our, human, our humanity is probably best defined by our awareness of ourselves. We alone can look up at the sky and contemplate our role in the universe. We alone have freedom and choice and the capability of rational thought beyond survival and procreation. We alone can question relative values and choose right from wrong. Our consciousness is both a blessing and a burden. It provides us with the ability to ponder and to question. More than any other living entities, we have the capability the capacity to consider variables and options for the future and to be either encouraged or concerned about the possibilities. So in love, I really do feel like you guys are thinking about what do I really want? Like, do I want, what picture do I really want hanging on the wall? What am I getting myself attached to? And as you can see, it's like a monkey on the damn string. It's like, you know, this wants the apple, but you got to go through the snake to get to the apple. It's just like, what am I getting myself grounded in? What am I getting myself rooted in? And I'm just sitting back thinking, and it's just naked. I feel like they are as pure and as innocent as can be in this naked form here. It's just like... Being open and honest with their self and honestly thinking about the future and what it is that they want. What it is that they want to see and what they're attaching their self to. The journey. The journey card. There go another ending. Movement. Someone moving. Moving ahead. Leaving something behind. If I love something well it's like they're moving ahead they're leaving something behind the lovers they're moving ahead I feel like they're focusing on their material stability the lovers great fortune I feel like this Virgo is moving if this Virgo is in a relationship with someone, um, I feel like there's an ending. There's an ending in some type of relationship that they're in. And they feel like if they just take a step forward with that 10 going to that number 11, 11, 11, they feel like they'll have certain wealth and great fortune elsewhere. As you can see, this is like they're moving to another city, another state or something like that. Moving their self, moving their business. In search for love and great fortune. It's a lot of travel cards here. It's a lot of travel. So it's, it's travel. Traveling, moving. It's a lot of endings. It's a lot of thinking. It's a lot of waiting. It's like I said, someone waiting and hoping and wishing and trying to find balance. Hmm. Let me guide us in love. Where are we going? What can we expect in love? For my Virgo. What are we going to experience along this journey? This sudden wealth. It's lovers. What's this spell here? The stork. Okay, the stork. Beginnings, change, newness. Newness here. Pregnancy. Uh-huh. Transitions. Mm-hmm. Wow. Sickle. New beginnings and things being cut out that are no longer serving. This new beginning, this transition. Crossroads, the clock tower, uh huh, and the gentleman. Yeah, okay. So, in regards to this love situation, 
I don't see no pregnancy here. I don't see no pregnancy at all. But I definitely see new birth. I see new beginnings. I see harvest. I see certain things being cut and harvested before you go. You know? Um, Because like I told y'all, y'all were waiting with the seven. And I, I, I don't feel like Whatever it was that you were trying to plant, it didn't grow the way that you wanted it to grow. But whatever it is, it's like I put my time and I invested in this shit. I'm just going to cut my losses. I'm just going to harvest whatever it is that I can get from my investment. And to, like I said, they're traveling along on the journey. Okay? They're going to place their investment somewhere else where they know it'll be more lucrative. They're moving somewhere else where they can see their self more balanced and more fruitful in love, in relationships. And they're going to, they just feel that if they move forward somewhere else, it'll be a more fortunate situation. I feel like they sat back and thought about this long and hard, this start new birth and i definitely do think about um that virgo is possibly thinking about pregnancy and marriage and things like that like something that is going to like really change their life honestly honestly they really do want new beginnings new beginnings let's, let's see exactly what the stork means you guys And you guys, some of you guys could be goddamn pregnant shit, but I don't, I honestly, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that at all. I'm taking this as new beginnings and the old being, the old being severed to make room for the new, the old being severed to make new for the, room for the new transitions. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're, you guys are separating with somebody or something, or you guys are severing ties with old businesses and you guys are making transition. And this is a part of your journey where it's like, am I going this way or am I going that way? You know, it's just trying to figure out where you're going, having choices. You know what I'm saying? Having your own free will here. And then also with this, with this, with this, clock tower here I'm taking this as like you're at a crossroads and just thinking about your time the amount of time that you're spending how your time is going to be spent like how your time is going to be spent if I go this way or if I go that way. And that's why I said that you got there. Go that number 19 again. It's like you guys are like really thinking about what you're doing before you do it. Because you don't want to go through any challenges. And it's like I painted roses red before to try to make something be something that it's not before you know I kind of like sell myself short where I didn't get the full harvest like I wanted ten of pentacles but I got seven it's like thinking about the time that you're investing is balance your standards you know what I'm saying what the output what it's going to produce you know what I'm saying because it's like you always want to be a gentleman you always want to be you know New birth, cutting out the old, coming in with the new, separating from something, crossroads. Like, I mean, all of these cards represent separation, damn near. So, again, let's see. 17, the stork, it represents new beginning, change, transition, newness, birth, pregnancy, announcements, ev evolution, progressing, balance, giving, inspirational, mom uh, momentous. Uh, oh, momentous occasions. The sickle. The sickle means... It means danger, breakup, separation, de uh, decisions, verdicts, sharp harvest, um, accident, surgery, reaping, pains, cut off, growing, the end of something, rejection, cutting ties, being cut off from something or sudden separation. Like I said, new beginnings and harvesting what is left from the situation that you were in you know so that you can go into the new because you already put time into a situation so it's like 
I'm not about to leave this shit empty handed after everything that I put. You know what I'm saying? You cutting ties and you're taking what you can out of the situation. Crossroad choices, way, decisions, options, journeys, wandering, plans, ideas, destiny, directions, alternative, escape, route, junction, cycle, divided, torn, plots, free will. You know? Like I said, cutting things off, making decisions. This clock tower, this is what I wanted. Objectivity, enlightenment, standards, separation, alienation, authority, analysis, discovery, innovation, perspective, fortitude, institution, structure, protections, institutionalized perspective or objectivity. And then the gentleman, you know what that means. That means it's a man in the situation. So, like I said, new beginnings. Taking what we can from the old, whatever we can harvest, moving forward, being in the crossroads, making the decisions based off of your standards because you're reflecting again. Like I said, you are reflecting again to what you've done before to try to make things work. And it's like, I don't have to do that shit no more. I don't have to do that shit no more, but I'm definitely about to sit here and think about what I can take what I need to leave behind. And again, with this sickle, you got to cut out the old, what you planted old, and get the land ready so that you can plant new seeds. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you're already in this new beginning, but you got to get your land ready so that you can plant new seeds so it could grow so you can harvest something. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what am I trying to grow? What am I trying to do? You know what I'm saying? Being objective, thinking, analyzing, Knowing that you got to be a gentleman, that you got to be brave, that you got to be courageous in this situation. Give me guidance and love. And then we about. This more came out to be a freaking. um. Ooh. Okay. It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows to give. Let me give you guys some more in love because I really honestly feel like this was more about like a finance and career type of thing for y'all. More than love. And I know you guys really be coming here for love, but some of you guys be like, I want to know about other shit. I want to know about my whole life. Respect. But I definitely feel like I got to give y'all like a little love bonus because you guys were my other, were my other little dad. Yeah, we're going to go here with it. Hold on, hold on. Come on, y'all. Don't bear me out like that, Slammy. Don't bear me out like that, baby. Don't bear me out like that, baby. Don't bear me out. So let's find out what's going on with our Virgos in love. And then I'm going to give y'all two bonus spreads and we up out of here, Virgo. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button because y'all know I was not about to get the hell up out of here. And I give y'all no uh, in-depth shit in love. But it looks like in love that you guys are in the crossroads. You're thinking about your standards in love as well. I feel like that you could use that for career in love. You could kind of use this whole thing for career or love, honestly, but... I'm really feeling like some people are making some career moves or just going that shit alone in regards to uh, love. But it's like someone is cutting something out that's old so they can plant something new because they wanted to plant correctly. And it's like, what do I want to plant? What do I want to grow? Let me guidance and love for my Virgos. Give me guidance and love for my Virgos. Chemistry, lack of passion. Children. I feel like our children is getting away. That's why you're, um, 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 um. All right, so it looks like in love for my Virgos here. It's like 
you want to find somebody that you have chemistry with, but it's just like you just have like a passion right now and love because you feel like your children. It's a situation with your children that is bothering you or that's ever getting away. Um, either you guys, you guys might be going, might be pregnant right now. Um, because I did see the stork there, so I mean, it could very much mean that some of you guys are pregnant and expecting, but. I'm not necessarily getting that. I'm feeling that some of you guys probably just don't have a break from your children. You don't have the adequate support so that you could probably go out there and date. And it's just like, how could you like really get into dating someone where it's just like you got to make sure that your children are safe and everything. And it's like, I can't even keep an open mind about dating right now until I get this situation with my children together. So it's like, I can't. <laughs> I can't give dating a chance until I get this situation with my kids together. Basically, it's like that's like a big thing right now. It's like their kids, financial security, and their children. Are you guys in love with my Virgos? What can my Virgos expect in love for July? Yeah, transition, we're moving. Looking for goes to expect in love in July. All of these are in reverse, Jesus. Okay, you guys are getting over regret in a love situation. You guys aren't stuck anymore. You're not feeling stuck. Um, Like we said, we're you, you guys are in the in-between world in a new direction. It's like you're walking, but... It's some type of stagnation there. Oh, because it's like something that you don't understand in regards to love. What is it that we're not understanding? What's going on? Give me guidance for my Virgos in love. And it's like y'all don't understand why something didn't work. Y'all don't understand why y'all had to put a situation with someone on pause and like why it didn't work. You just don't understand why a situation didn't work with someone. And whatever y'all been thinking about, the answer is yes. What the hell does that mean? Oh, the answer is... It, it's like you don't understand why you had to put this thing on pause. But the answer is yes. It's like y'all going to end up keep going through continuous cycles in this situation, in this love situation. Okay? Give me guidance about these cycles and the answer is yes please and then we up out of here because now i'm getting too nosy <laughs> all right i just can't get that damn shuffle tell me about this answer the four swords, the, the four swords, that means it's you guys, you guys are over the regret. You're not stuck anymore. You know you're moving in a di new direction. It's just that you just don't understand how to take this path, how to walk this path. You don't understand why certain things had to end and you had to put shit on pause. And... You weren't sure if it was going to be continuous cycles with this person. And the thing is, yes, it would be continuous cycles with this person. You guys are done healing over this. Like, you guys retreated. You guys had to get some level of mental clarity. This person that you're dealing with is a fucking tyrant. Like, she's a fucking bitch with this queen of wands. It's just like... You felt like you were walking on eggshells with this person. Like anything could just easily incite this person to anger, to violence. Like, you know, this person was just kind of like a bully almost. And like that's not the type of love that you wanted to deal with. And it's like I feel like with that, the answer is yes. And then cycles in reverse. It's like you wanted to know if this person would ever change. And the answer is yes. Like, this person is going to continue to put you through the same cycles. And that's just something that you kind of have to understand. And I want to say that that's it. Because nothing else is coming out. 
What is this? The world. The world. You playing chess, not checkers. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're way more precious than dealing with someone that is like this. You know what I'm saying? Because this is someone that is overly aggressive. And it's because they are lacking something. You understand? It's something that they're lacking. And it's something that you have a certain ability and a capability to do. And they feel like they have to control you and... You know, this person wasn't, I don't even think this person was faithful. Um, it's just like, this person kind of thought that they could just kind of do what they want. Like they were the queen and the ruler. And no, you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not going to do whatever you want to do. Like I've healed from your torment. I've healed from that. I've healed from that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. But this is my page. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. I want to give some heart chakra guidance. I want to give some heart chakra guidance because this is someone that really had to go through like some deep emotional and mental healing through this person because this queen like off with her head like no like she's did a lot of yelling like whoever this person was did a lot of yelling did a lot of accusing people and stuff like that and it was a lot of projecting because this person was doing it their self <laughs> this person was doing it their self and it was a lot of mental abuse a lot of yelling a lot of mental abuse a lot of like i feel like this person might have even put me down a time or two you know and this person did that because they're lacking. Give me guidance for my Virgos in regards to love. Thank you. Trust and know that if you keep moving ahead, like I'm trying to tell you, you're in a brand new world. This is permanent. What's coming to you is permanent success. It's permanent just fruitfulness and happiness and growth. This is a brand new playing field. You're playing chess, not checkers, baby. And like I told you, trust have faith you're on a brand new playing field you're starting from ground zero you can paint your life can be whatever you want it to be crown chakra listen that's that mental balance that's that understanding listen that's that trust that's that faith okay that's that understanding and healing personal losses and griefs from things that you you know like i said you weren't understanding why certain things had to end why you had to put certain things on pause it's because you had to focus on you this person was never going to allow you. Look, seek the truth. Another seven. Seek the truth. You had to withdraw to seek the truth. You had to be alone to contemplate, to get to this understanding, to gain this knowledge, this wisdom, to grow spiritually, to analyze this thing clearly, to see the light. Do you understand what I'm saying? You had to, you had to go to ground zero and trust and just have faith and just know. You had to know. You had to get that understanding. You had to get your crown together. This person was controlling. This person is abusive. This person is scared of you. It's something about you that made them feel something about their self. Like it may be even your good looks or your ability to obtain money or something like that. They felt like. They didn't want to you lose you, so them being a tyrant was the way to, to keep you there. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is saying to seek. To seek. Seek and trust in you so fine. Base chakra. Root. <laughs> being rooted. Like, continue to grow. Continue to trust and seek the truth and just harvest. Like, listen, it's like you guys are planted your own garden now. You guys are planted your seeds. Y'all are out in y'all garden. Y'all are basking. Y'all are in touch with nature. You understand? You are rooted. You are grounded. You know thyself. Everything that you seek, you will find. Do you understand? I, and I don't see like a specific person and be like, oh, new love, this, this, and that. Because it's not about that. It's about self right now entrepreneur is about you lighting that flame in yourself so that you can get everything that your heart desires you hear me virgo you hear me time to cut out certain shit it's time to go for everything 
everything that has your name on it. You deserve it. Virgo, I love you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, Thank you guys so much for the love and support. And like I say, trust and you shall find. Continue to seek and continue to love. I love you guys. Hit that like button. If you guys want to book a reading, y'all make sure that y'all go to that about tab. And I love you. Okay? I might give y'all a bonus reading. All right? Because I want to get into the tea. I really want to get into the dirt. So, if y'all don't follow my other page, um, follow my other page, which is Scorpion Red's Tarot Channel. Alright, peace.